Daytona Beach, Florida, home to Hangsters, Hot Rods, Muscle Car, and Collective Car Showroom, where we own all of our vehicles. We are not a consignment dealership. During the next seven to eight minutes of this video presentation, we are going to go over our buying process. So if you're already familiar with our process or you've watched our videos in the past, please feel free to fast forward to today's vehicle presentation. In Daytona Beach, we have a 25,000 square foot facility where we house 60 to 70 collector cars, all of which we own. Hangsters.com. We are an internet-based business. We have 100, well, 80 to 100 photographs on our website of each vehicle, along with a 20 to 25 minute video presentation. The reason we have this content on our website is because the majority of the transactions we conduct, conduct month after month and year after year are done sight unseen. Yes, people wire us money for 30, 50, $70,000 cars without ever coming to look at them. However, I do not encourage that you do this. Um, classic cars, they're awesome, nostalgic, have great looks, uh, get a lot of compliments, a lot of eyeball, a lot of appeal. Um, but they're 30, 40, 50 year old cars. They are not that brand new car that you're gonna go get from your Ford or Dodge dealer or Chevrolet dealership. Um, they all have flaws, deficiencies, weaknesses, tendencies, some of which we try to disclose in our video presentation and in our photos on our website. I encourage you to come in person to check out the car for yourself. We would gladly pull the car outside for you. You can check out the paint condition, interior condition, real good out in the natural light. You can pop the hood, you can pop the trunk, look the car real good with your own eyes. We have two twin post lifts here in our Daytona showroom. We'd be more than happy to put the car in air for you if you'd like us to. You can check out the undercarriage, uh, the suspension components, the bottom of the motor, the bottom of the transmission, the floor pan condition, the tire condition. We'll let you drive the car. You can see how the car stops, starts, steers, accelerates, how the transmission shifts, how the ride feels, if there's any noises you don't like, if there's any kind of vibrations or, or anything like that you do not like. This way, when the vehicle shows up to you wherever you're at in the United States or in the world, there are no surprises because you were here and you went over the car for yourself in its entirety. In our photo shoots and in our video presentations, we try to represent each vehicle as honestly and as accurately as we possibly can and offer full transparency. However, we can only cover so much content in a 20 minute video presentation and this is why we encourage you guys to come in person and check the car out for yourself. What happens next? Once you decide on your classic ride, where do we go from here? If you're a cash buyer, we accept cashier's check from your bank and bank wire transfer. And if you're coming to visit us in person, you wanna bring us cash, we'll take that too. That does still spend today, believe it or not. Maybe you don't have the cash to buy one of these cars. What, what are my financing options? We work with a few different collective car lenders that offer terms on these vehicles. The terms start at five years and they go up to 15 years. Approval is going to be based on your credit bureau, debt to income ratio, time on the job, time at your residence, price of the car, things like that. I discussed 15 year term. They aren't going to do 15 years on a $25,000 car. There is price cutoffs for that 15 year approval and obviously you have to qualify on the credit end. The uh, loans from the lenders are simple interest loans, which means if your payment's $500 a month and you pay $800 a month, the extra $300 goes towards principal. Also, no prepayment penalty. So if you get approved for an eight-year term, which is about the average approval term, and you pay it off in 12 months, they aren't going to penalize you for doing so. So that makes it nice to own one of these classics also. Short-term money loans, you can do that. And then you can pull money out of your home equity line or your 401k or pull cash out of the bank, whatever the circumstances that you have are. Once the vehicle is paid for, what happens? The car goes through a pre-delivery inspection process. We sell old cars. Anything can stop working, anything can start leaking at any given moment. Therefore, we put the vehicle through one last shakedown prior to it leaving our facility and heading your direction. We torque the lug nuts, we check the tire pressure, we check the fluid levels, make sure the AC's blowing cold if it's equipped, make sure your brake lights work, your horn works, your wipers work, all of that stuff. Once it's green lighted and the guys say it's good to go, then we detail it. After it goes through detail, a carrier is dispatched if we are the ones handling the shipping. We can typically have a truck here within 48 hours. However, 
If you're in a more rural or remote destination or a holiday falls in there, or maybe you're on the West Coast where they do fewer runs because of obviously the travel distance, it may take three, four, five business days to get a truck here, but I promise you, we know you're excited to get your ride. We are excited we earned your business as a customer. We will get you your vehicle as quickly and as safely as we possibly can. If you're the one handling the shipping, let's say you're sending your own carrier or you're coming with your own enclosed or open transport or you're driving the car home because you're close enough, we'll let you know when the vehicle is ready and you can come pick the vehicle up. That about covers our uh, purchasing process here at Hangsters Hot Rods of Daytona. So let's get started with today's vehicle presentation. And today's vehicle is a 1994 Chevrolet Capri station wagon with a clean Carfax with under 100,000 miles in excellent driver quality condition. So let's check it out. Uh, 5.7 liter V8 motor to power this big, huge vehicle. Uh, of course, being in 94, you have modern day creature comforts such as this big brake booster on the back firewall on the driver's side. That is your power brakes. Um, Buried somewhere down beneath there <laughs> is a power steering reservoir because the car does have power steering. And over here, your AC is hooked up and is functioning. So we got a uh, 1994 Capri station wagon under 100K, clean Carfax, power steering, power brakes, air conditioning. Good stuff. Let's check it out more thoroughly. So. What we're used to presenting at Hangsters is generally, you know, late 60s, early 70s muscle cars that have been restored completely or a portion of them have been restored. This car has not been restored. We're talking about all original factory sheet metal, uh, the original color, the original interior, so on and so forth. So it is a driver quality car. It's meant to be driven. It's not perfect. It has cosmetic flaws. We're going to show you some of those. But let me tell you something. For a 94 station wagon, this thing is in pristine condition. First of all, the paint on the top of the hood. There is no clear coat fade. There is no uh, bubbles, blisters, cracks, spider webbing, anything like that going on. It has really nice paint on the hood. Front headlights. Notice how they're clear. They're not yellow. So uh, the headlights are in good shape. Uh, silver bow tie in the front grille. Uh, front grille is in good condition. Uh, both the black plastic portion as well as the maroon portion and the silver portion that is on your bow tie. The uh, chrome molding that's going to encompass the entire uh, perimeter of the car, it's original from 92, so therefore it is going to show some signs of age and patina. So we'll show you a little bit of, uh, of that throughout this video presentation, but some of it's right there. Uh, some of it again on the front here you can see, okay? So it's a driver quality car, really good condition. Uh, down low, your uh, ground effects. Up front they're good, you know, most cars, Driving down the freeway, 70, 75, maybe 85 miles per hour, they have a tendency to take a little bit of road debris, right? Uh, up front on this car, uh, ground effects, uh, front bumper, headlights, front grille area, in really good shape. Has the car been repainted? Um, not sure if it's been an entire repaint, a partial repaint. I don't have any documentation on the car as far as that's concerned. If you're an expert body man, feel free to come look at it. You can tell me if it's a complete repaint or, or portions of it. Um, but real nice paint throughout the entire car. Uh, front fender here, there is a little tiny scratch there. I'm not going to point out every single little tiny imperfection. I'm going to tell you this is a fantastic car for the money. Runs, drives, awesome. Uh, but you do have a little nick there on the front fender. Uh, chrome wheel opening molding in great shape. Does have some aftermarket five stars on it. Chrome lug nuts. Um, so the car right now has BFG G-Force on it. They don't make the tires anymore. The tires on the car are old. We are replacing them. Um, we have them at our shop. I was not waiting on the tire company to deliver tires for two days to do our video presentation. So it is getting four brand new Nitto tires. So it will have brand new Nittos on there. Front windshield, it's huge on this uh, 94 Caprice. Uh, no chips, uh, nicks. Uh, Anything like that, real nice front windshield. Does have your typical uh, fade around the front windshield where the black molding is up there, okay? Again, original car. Dual mirrors, both painted the same color as the vehicle, also in pretty good condition. 
That chrome molding I talked about, you know, we'll show you portions of it throughout the video presentation, but just be aware that it is, you know, discolored in areas because it is original from 94. While we're down there, let's take a look at the lower portion of the driver's side door panel. The paint condition on this car for what it is, is absolutely fantastic. Um, the gray portion down low there, the uh, maroon portion of all four doors, uh, side panels, roof, everything in real nice shape. You know what's in even nicer shape? The interior. Let's check it out. So, power windows, power door locks. Um, so we'll figure out on test drive if those work. Uh, armrests, they're a little tiny bit warped here. Okay, sticking up right there. Again, original interior. Uh, original carpeted door panel here. Original plastic down below. All in real nice condition. Seats are cloth. Drivers, passengers, uh, center seat. Fold down rear, uh, fold down armrest in the rear not in the rear of the car, but in the rear seat back, if you know what I'm saying. Uh, dash pad, check that out. Absolutely uh, great condition throughout. Let me pull the uh, floor mat here. Show you the carpeting condition underneath. Carpet's in great shape. Floor mats that are in it are brand new. Notice in the car, no rips, no tears in the interior. Cloth interior, hard to keep clean, right? No stains, no uh, like bleach stains from like maybe detail in the car over the years, something splashed onto the seat, discolored it. Uh, no heavy black soot stains like where somebody was, you know, drove the thing back and forth to work and it got heavily soiled. Uh, it's in nice condition. We'll show you a closer look at the uh, interior up front there when we're on the test drive in the car. Uh, let's take a look up top at the roof. Once again, no clear coat fade, blistering, bubbling, cracking, anything like that going on. You know, there is a little bit of discoloration here on the uh, luggage rack. Okay, again, new. A um, little bit of, you know, it takes, it's on the roof, so it takes the sun. Same thing with the uh, black slots there. It's not a restored car, it's an original vehicle. So uh, the luggage rack up top there, paint on the actual roof of the car, fantastic condition. Luggage rack shows age from 94. Rear of the car, same thing going on. Uh, door panels, excellent condition. Seats, carpeting, excellent condition. Rear seat belts, center seat belt, they're all there. They're OEM, they function. Cloth interior once again. No rips, tears, heavy discoloration, stains. Show you the carpet here underneath the floor mat. Great condition. All right. Get a look at the seat backs, not only in the video presentation, but also in the still photos. They have those mat pockets there that we used to be used to late 80s, early 90s, you know, where you when you actually carried maps, we all carry iPhones now and they have navigation or your car has navigation. So maps are kind of a thing of the past, but we used to carry them. How are the body lines on the car? They're fantastic. You know why? Because they're all original. Original uh, quarters, doors, fender, hood. Windows are tinted throughout the entire car. So uh, the rear window glass has rear defrost, okay? When we got the car, uh, the rear window glass was tinted. We took the tint off. The reason we took the tint off is because it was bubbling. Usually if you use the rear window defroster and it is tinted, it'll cause the tint to rise and peel. So if you want tint put on there, we can put tint on there. But if you use the rear window defrost, the same thing is most likely gonna happen. Rear portion, I mentioned, rear window defrost, third wiper. Everything works. Tailgate, paint, no blisters, bubbles, cracks, imperfections. Again, silver body molding shows signs of age. Now, you want to buy this car? You want to make it your own? You want to put new molding on it? You can do so. They make kits to do that. This is all original, so we're leaving it that way. Our rear bumper step here, 
you know, when you're taking the uh, kids to Disneyland and you want to step up on the rear bumper there and put the stuff on the uh, roof, strap it down to the luggage rack, that's a little step for you. And then of course the rear bumper portion low here where your uh, gray silver portion is, excellent condition as well. Third brake light. How about the window? Pop the window open. You got that uh, back, back, back seat going on. It flips up and the kids can look out the rear of the car. I remember those days my father had two station wagons. Uh, so pull one lever, tailgate flips down. You can see, look, tailgate closure in fantastic condition. Look at the uh, pockets there uh, around the headlights where the uh, tailgate closes. Fantastic shape. Put the tailgate up. So you want to get in it the other way. It opens up that direction as well. Uh, shocks. Strong, good, working. Let's take a look at the passenger side of the car. Body lines. Perfecto. No, I don't use the word perfect, but literally they're seriously, they're factory, they're as good as it gets. I mean, it's, it's a real slick looking car, especially with those wheels on it, real cool looking stuff we have here. Um, paint, maroon paint on the side of the car, exceptional. Uh, again, uh, the chrome molding there, you know, some imperfections in it. It's throughout the entire vehicle, so I just want to make sure you're aware it's not perfect. Um, the uh, wheels look to be pretty good. Take a look at the still photos on our website. Uh, the website is photoed with the Goodyear, uh, or the uh, BFG, what is it, BFG? BFG G-Force, I believe. That's why I want to say Goodyear. Um, yeah, BFG. So it's uh, photos with BFG, brand new Nitto tires coming on the car. And we might update the photos if it doesn't sell, which I imagine it will pretty quickly. Um, Passenger side door panel again on the driver's side rear, or passenger side rear, I'm sorry. Uh, exceptional shape, cloth material, vinyl on the armrest, uh, window uh, controls there, carpeting at the bottom. Take a look at the uh, rear seat on the passenger side of the car. This is a cool piece. And let me tell you what's even better than the look of this car, it's the ride. I don't know if you guys have ever ridden in a uh, Capri station wagon, but they're like the K5 Blazers. They ride amazing. Door panel, passenger side, same thing as the drivers, almost identical, mirroring each other with everything being the opposite way. You got a little bit of a buckle there on the vinyl armrest. It is what it is. It's uh, an aged piece from 94. Uh, your door pulls in good shape. Your carpeting, or, vine, or I'm sorry, cloth material up front, uh, up top, the door panel. I can't talk today, I guess it's almost Friday. Uh, carpeting at the bottom of the door, uh, plastic at the bottom of the door, all in real good shape. Oh, check this out. Glove compartment, right? Oh, sorry. Bumping into the camera. Glove compartment. Original owner's manual. So that will be in the glove compartment when the car arrives. And what do we have here? Yes, an original window sticker. Was sold in uh, let's see here, dealership, Beaver Creek, Ohio, okay, uh, dark cherry metallic, medium gray metallic, uh, you know, ruby, ruby custom cloth, 25 grand, so you will have the original window sticker, we will have a photo of that on our website as well, uh, cloth interior, let's check that out. Passenger side of the car, same as the driver's side. I like this car. This is a cool piece. All four doors open and close with ease. Tailgate open and closes with ease. Uh, no issues with the paint. The maroon paint, uh, the gray paint throughout the entire car, really, really, really nice. I showed you one imperfection on the driver's side front fender. You know, if you want to get real super picky, I mean, I'm sure you can find two or three more, but, um, you know, eight out of 10 to eight and a half out of 10, in my personal opinion, it's a fantastic paint job on the car.
Really nice shape. 1994 Caprice station wagon. First, we're going to throw it up in the air and do an undercarriage presentation for you, and then we're going to take it out on the road. It is a beautiful day in Daytona Beach. We're going to show you how the car runs out. Underneath our 1994 Caprice station wagon, I'm not going to be able to show you much of the oil pan because you have the cross member up front here. You have a bunch of lines in the way on this side, and you have a starter in the way on this side. So um, I, from my perspective, I can't see anything leaking at this time. Uh, something we're not accustomed to seeing on our uh, classic cars are oxygen sensors, catalytic converters. Uh, this car has them. They appear to be functioning as they should because there's no lights on in the dash and there's uh, no issues in the cats as far as uh, any kind of rust or rot or pinholes or anything like that. Uh, the trans pan you can see, that's right in front of your face. You can see all the way around the transmission pan is nice and dry. Okay, now another problematic area on these cars is the tail shaft seal, which again on this car you really cannot see, but it'd be dripping down onto your cross support here, which I do not see that happening. Um, let's continue here on to uh, the floor pans on the car. Of course, they're all factory. So uh, it's original floor pans on this car. So it's all one solid piece, no rust, uh, nothing rotted, nothing sectioned in. And let's also get a look at the frame rails on the car, uh, both driver and passenger side. Real nice condition there. Uh, continuing back with our exhaust system, uh, you have your manifolds that drop down to dual cats and then dual straight pipes or a little bit of curved pipes going on. Um, all the way back, no rust holes, rot holes, pin holes. Um, there is a cracking presence in the uh, mufflers, a faint crack. There are two layer muffler systems, so uh, there is no uh, holes in the exhaust or in the mufflers themselves. Uh, there is a little bit of cracking going on on the mufflers though, but uh, nothing is rusted, rotted, punctured through. Drum brakes in the rear of this uh, 94 station wagon. Um, you have your uh, exhaust system that's going to turn down out of the uh, rear of the vehicle. Not used to doing a station wagon presentation, so I guess, you know, whatever you want to call them, rear quarters. Uh, by the way, uh, the tires on the car are bald and they're old. And they are getting, right now there's BFGs on there, G-Force, uh, BFG no longer makes G-Force this size. So Nitto tires, brand new are going on the car. So when you take delivery of your car, there'll be about five miles on the things. Um, we have them over at the shop, they came in this morning. So as soon as we're done with our video presentation, the car is going over for brand new sneakers. So that'll be uh, on the vehicle when you uh, take delivery as well. Awesome, awesome piece we have here in our inventory at Hankster's Daytona 1994 station wagon. Let's set it on the ground and we'll take it out on a test drive. I'm having fun. This thing is cool as hell. Tilt wheel. Horn. The only light on in the dash is a seatbelt light. That's because I do not wear seatbelts on test drives. I'm not sure why because I wear a seatbelt in my daily driver all the time without fail. But I don't wear them in classic cars, I guess, because they're bigger and heavier for some reason. I don't know. Fuel gauge works. Oil works. 92,954 are the actual miles on the car. Digital speedo, it does work. We'll show you that on the test drive. Battery voltage, and then we will watch our temperature as it comes up, because it's about 95 in Daytona today. Listen, this air blows ice freaking cold. I swear. I wish I had a digital thermometer right now. I'll show you guys. It's cold. That's why I'm going to turn it down. I'm going to turn it down to low. That's how freaking cold it is. Old AC Delco original radio. Look, fade left, fade right. Cool stuff, right? I was working in a GM dealership when this car came out. Um, this remember the old school mirrors, left hand. Right hand, left hand, right hand. They work, watch, power. See that? 
How about passenger side? Objects in the mirror are closer than they appear. Okay, door locks. Uh, wow, this freaking seat, the power. Oh yeah, look at that. It works. Tilt, so I'm rolling style. All right, up, down, what is this? Oh yeah, seat up, down, up, down. Oh cool, it goes up, down. This car is freaking awesome. I might buy this thing myself. Tilt windows. What does this do? Oh, that's for the seat, too. God, this seat has 17 different directions. So, All right. Windows. They go all the way up and all the way down. I promise I'm not going to bore you guys to tears. You can tell I'm fascinated with this car. All right. Rear. Passenger side. And guess what? If you're holding a bunch of kids around, you want to lock it? You can lock so they no, don't work. Wipers. Uh, what else do I want to show you? Um, I don't have a tape. I'm assuming the tape deck works. Told you the AC is blowing ice cold. Um, rear window release does work. I'm not going to do it because and the rear wiper and washer do work. I'm not gonna do any of that stuff because I don't want the rear window all messed up. And if I pop the rear window, I'm gonna have to get out and shut it because it doesn't have an auto shut feature, but they work. So, headliner, check that out. No rips, no tears, no stains, no sagging. Oh, does it have a, a lighted mirror? Oh no, just got a regular mirror. Okay, I'll forgive it. It's got a bunch of cool options, so no light in the mirrors, but. So, you, ladies, you can't do your makeup while you're driving, I guess. Thing runs absolutely fantastically. You're riding on air. So, let's do that now. Okay, inside our 94 Caprice wagon. Speedo's functioning, 45 miles per hour. Temp's good. Car rides like you're on air. Look at that. I could do this all day. Absolutely fantastic ride. Air is blowing ice cold. Tranny shifts perfectly. Digital speedo works. No lights on in the dash. No ABS lights. No airbag lights. No check engine lights. Car has real nice tight steering as you would expect out of a 92 vehicle. Again, smooth ride. No tire vibration. No engine vibration. No tranny vibration. You could definitely use this car as a daily driver. We're going to take it around the corner here. We're going to run it through a few gears for you. But somebody's going to get themselves an absolutely fantastic piece of machinery here. This uh, 94 Caprice is uh, really a great car. we got a green light now, which means I'm going to have a red light shortly. So I'm going to show you guys the brakes here. Brakes, no vibration, no pulsation, no pull. Real nice, smooth stop. No hands on the wheel. We'll run it through a couple gears here. Once again, we're about 95 degrees in Daytona today. You can see the temp gauge below operating temperature, which is a great thing. Car's cooling just like it should, both inside and outside. We're idling nicely. I'm not stalling out. My foot's not on the throttle. up through a couple gears here. This car has such a fantastic ride to it. Nice and just so quiet in here. You know, with the uh, cloth interior and everything seals nicely and it's just, I was telling Chris, I, I actually would not mind using this car as my freaking daily driver. I like it that much. I think it's an awesome piece. This 94 Caprice will not last in our showroom long. Hankster's Hot Rods is located in Daytona Beach, Florida. 386-944-9219 is our contact phone here in Daytona if you're interested in our 1994 Caprice. Hankster's.com is our website. It's where you can find all the photos of this vehicle along with this video presentation you're watching right now. 
At full retail price, this vehicle includes shipping in the lower 48 United States on an enclosed carrier. It also includes a powertrain warranty. That warranty is good on the engine, the transmission, and the rear end. It is not good on the AC, the brakes, the starter, the battery, the alternator, the oil pan gasket. Those are all things that will be your responsibility. Is the price of this vehicle negotiable? It most certainly is. We negotiate the price of the car, the warranty comes off. Warranty is good at full retail price only. Also, the shipping comes off. At full retail price, we look into the shipper, make sure they are properly licensed, bonded, installed, in, <laughs> licensed, bonded, insured to carry your car. Um, and we set up the pickup, we set up the delivery, we make the arrangements to pay the uh, carrier. At a negotiated cost, you're going to take care of all that legwork yourself. Of course, if you are uh, maybe a car collector, enthusiast, hobbyist, and you have uh, your own open or enclosed carrier, you'd like to trailer this car home, you can most certainly do that. And of course, if you're local to us here in Daytona Beach, you can certainly drive this 94 Caprice home. Hangsters Hot Rods is located in Daytona Beach, Central Florida. And once again, our website is hangsters.com. Check us out.